Have a look at a short veto I made just in just few mins by following the exact same steps I'm gonna describe. I want to share a story from my past, a story that changed my life forever. It all started with a letter. A thick envelope arrived one morning. My heart pounded as I read the words, congratulations, Sarah. You have been awarded a full scholarship to the prestigious Elite Academy. This was my golden ticket out of poverty, my chance to make something of myself and uplift my family. The first step of generating our story-based and movie-like videos is creating a perfect script and storyboarding it. An engaging script acts as the heart and soul of a great viral video. To be honest, this is also one of the most challenging and creative tasks. This is where we will use our first AI tool you already know, ChatGPT. To start the scripting process, we will start by asking great ideas and titles for our story. You must be creative with the prompts to get the unique desired results. One way can be to copy the titles of our reference channel and give them to ChatGPT. Also, provide context about each title by describing the crux of the story. ChatGPT will get the hint about the type of content you want, and it will generate a lot of similar ideas. Ask for more and more ideas until you are satisfied and come across a viral idea. Now that we have our video idea, we need to ask our writer for a story outline story with each main point of our story explained shortly. Once done, we will review the outline and will ask the ChatGPT to make any changes if needed. Once satisfied, the next step is to ask ChatGPT to convert that story outline into a full script with proper dialogues and twists. Also, remember to separately get the details and descriptions of all characters present in the script. And here we have a full, complete script ready to be storyboarded. Storyboarding is essential. It will guide us by describing what type of scene should we create at every line of our script. Again, we will use ChatGPT here. After providing our script to ChatGPT, ask ChatGPT to create three columns for storyboarding. One column for the script lines being storyboarded, second column for scene description or storyboarding, and third column for AI prompt that can be used to create a storyboarded scene using AI. Hit enter and we will have our storyboarding done by ChatGPT properly in the form of a table. If you found this useful, hit that subscribe button. This method is useful if you have a free version of ChatGPT, but if you have ChatGPT4, then you can get storyboarding done with proper images created instead of just text. That's because ChatGPT has DAL-E integrated into it, a feature available for paid users only. Anyways, this storyboarding will help us when we will generate our scenes using text-to-image AI tools. But now let's move on to our next step, which is voiceover. I have tried and tested all AI voiceover tools, but Eleven Labs has always stood out. It is the best and most realistic voice generation tool available now in the market. You cannot really differentiate between the human and AI voices generated from Eleven Labs. To start, first you have to select the relatable voices for our characters present in the script. One voice will be used to describe the story, and separate voices will be used for each character present. To generate voice, simply copy the desired part of the script generated by ChatGPT, paste it into Eleven Labs, and select the desired voice. Then simply click Generate, and you will get your AI voice ready to download in a few seconds. Character and Scene Generations The next step involves designing the characters and generating scenes for them as described in storyboarding. One way is to again use the king of AI tools, ChatGPT. There are additional plugins present there that you can use for different unique applications. One such GPT is Consistent Character Generator. Simply go to the GPT section and search Consistent Character Generator. Select it and open the chat. Then it will ask you about the description of the character you want. Simply describe the gender of the character you want, and then provide a name for the character. Then ChatGPT will ask you about the description of the character. Once provided and hit enter, you will have your character presented in front of you. Now you can again ask ChatGPT to create different scenes of same character, and it will always give the same person in different poses, styles, environments, and scenes. Repeat the process for all characters. But this method works only in ChatGPT4, which is unfortunately paid. But I have a little trick for you. If you use the free version of ChatGPT, then simply just write this prompt when you open Consistent Character GPT. Hello ChatGPT, before we start generating character, remember one important point. Whenever you want to generate a picture, simply give me a detailed prompt that I can put directly into Dala to generate the required image. Once done, ChatGPT will always give you a detailed prompt, 
which you can copy and directly put into DAL-E for the exact image generation that paid chat GPT would have produced. Second method of generating characters and their scenes is through Midjourney. Midjourney is a paid text-to-image tool, but according to my experience, it is one of the best tools available. Midjourney is integrated into Discord. To generate a character in Midjourney, type slash imagine and describe the character you want to generate. Remember to ask Midjourney to create a spreadsheet of the character having full body pictures of the character from different camera angles. This way we have the pictures of the character from various angles which will be used as reference. Now to generate scenes of the character we have produced, we have to give the character reference each time we will generate the scene. For that, type slash and select imagine. Describe the scene you want in from of a prompt that ChatGPT gave us while storyboarding. And once done, type dash dash and cref. Then copy the link of the reference spreadsheet image we produced and paste it in front of Cref after a space. Now Midjourney will generate the scene of the same character that we provided as reference. Similarly, we will generate the scenes for our characters based on the script and voiceover and storyboarding. With that done, let's move to the next step you guys have been waiting for. Animation. Luma Labs has recently released their Dream Machine, which can create realistic animations. You can either give just a text prompt to generate a video or you can just provide an image and ask the AI to make animation on it. The best output is gained by providing both. By providing a pictorial scene and describing the animation you require in that particular scene, the results are mind-blowing. So what we have to do now is to gather all the scenes we generated through ChatGPT or Midjourney and provide it to the Dream Machine. Then ask for the specific animation required. Again, use the storyboarding that we did before to get an idea of the animation required in a particular scene. Put in details we got from ChatGPT, put in your imagination and creativity, and put in the scene generated. Dream Machine will give the required animation. To animate lips and sync them with the dialogues, you can use AI tools like Pika Labs and Sync Labs. Here you just need you upload your video along with the dialogue voice you want to sync with the character. The final output will be our character speaking what we want. Editing. Okay, now we have all the material ready to be combined. Let's move on to the last step of our video creation process, the editing. You can use any normal video editing and easily accessible video editing software such as CapCut, Premiere Pro, or Filmora. First, we will import all the voiceovers we generated through 11 labs and line up them in sequence on the timeline. Also, import the lip-synced video we got from Pika Labs or Sync Labs and put them at their respective positions. Then import all the animations made by Dream Machine and line them up on the voiceover. Adjust the length of the animations according to voiceover. We have our video ready, but final touch-ups are necessary to give it a more appealing and proper look. Add transitions between the scenes wherever necessary. Add some filters wherever needed. But one of the most important things is still left. The sound design. The sound design is what will make our video go to a pro level. Add background music to your video. Various AI music generating websites are available that you can use to get copyright free music. Use music to add emotions of suspense, happiness, horror, or whatever comes along the way. Also, don't forget the sound effects. It is sound effects that give life to the video. Once done with all the editing, hit export video and your Pixar level animation is ready where all of the work is done by AI.